Welcome back to Streamline Entertainment, it's uh, Marvin speaking. Uh, we're just going to get straight into a video and it was a lot of questions asked about who is was Johnny Vegas uh, basically in the Jay Slater case. Uh, I'm just going to go to a video that Miss Little Vodka made some time ago and uh, she said in this one that Aip is Johnny Vegas. Let's get straight into it. It's like Mark has spoken to Aip in a little bit more detail. So apparently he is Johnny Vegas. Aip Kasim is Johnny Vegas apparently. That's what uh, Mark has said. So basically he said that oh. Mark must have got, the online detective, must have got this information from him to say that he goes by the name as, uh, as Johnny Vegas uh, because he's known out there uh, for obviously being a bit of a rogue, uh, a dealer uh, and well known out there. This is what I think. When it, the first name came out, there was a bit of confusion because some people thought it was Brandon because he looked like him a bit, but... Uh, it, it, I don't think Brandon fits the Johnny Vegas style. Someone else have said it was a Mor uh, Rocky and someone else said it was a Moroccan guy. But the information I've got, it was definitely Aup that first come out in earlier videos as him being Johnny Vegas. And Mark as well saying that he's Johnny Vegas. So they must have had a conversation somewhere along the line. Mark, the online de detective in AUP. That uh, Jay wanted to carry on partying. So he invited him back to his. And when they were in the car, they stopped once to get a fizzy drink. They played music all the way to the apartment, apparently. He then says that once they got to the apartment, um, his other friend that was in the front with him, uh, turned to the left and went straight to sleep. We, obviously the second guy we know that um, was Rocky. Um, I think he goes by the second name. Someone said it was uh, Rocky Alley, obviously. Um, his correct name was put up uh, last night on uh, my channel, uh, which someone gave me that um, information of an incident uh, happening uh, up north. But I couldn't find any of the uh, papers on it at all or um, national or anything on Google but it must be there somewhere in the archives um, he then says that um, Jay asked for a charger so he went and got Jay a charger he then got Jay a blanket the red one that we see in the snapchat um, and he tells him oh you can stay on the sofa he even said that, oh, you can have a shower if you want. Um, and then Jay basically asked for a cig. And that's when Kasim gave him the cig. So apparently, while he was sleeping, he was woken up to the um, sound of a buzzer. And it was somebody telling him to move his car. So he went out and moved his car. He said whilst he was doing this, he saw, uh, he saw Jay talking to a woman and in his trainers and then he turned around and said oh um so obviously that could have been a failure uh that who was talking uh to at that time so supposedly obviously there's a lot of different avenues which people think and i i i respect that if people think he was um uh, at the property then that's fair enough that is the narrative the national news had, had said it's, i i don't believe uh that he was actually at uh the airbnb The woman said I could get a bus in every t uh, the bus every ten minutes. He then states that he offered Jay a lift. He offered that he would take Jay um, back, and Jay turned around and said, "Nah, nah, nah, I'm hungry. I want some scram." But then, apparently, Kasim turned around and said, "There isn't no bus, but whatever, do what you like," and then went back to sleep. And then, out of nowhere, Kasim gets a call from one of Jay's friends saying that he's lying in a ditch and that he's been hurt on a cactus. Also, Kasim has refused to tell the identity of the second guy 
that was at the Airbnb and he will not talk about if it was because of a stolen watch. Well, I mean, that was obviously early on in the case, uh, but obviously my main point is, is that AEP is said to be, uh, the, the, you know, the man with all these names that he keeps coming up and he is the Johnny Vegas of Tenerife, supposedly. Just going to go into an article. Uh, this was from Bristol Live. And it said online, uh, Jay Slater's real identity of mystery man known as Johnny Vegas finally revealed. A very detailed account has been shared by the convicted drug dealer who drove the missing teen to a deserted holiday rental. TV detective and former cop Mark Williams Thomas spoke with the key witness A. Cousine known as Johnny Vegas. So he must have told him that he was Johnny Vegas uh, to Mark. He must have, for Mark to say that, the identity of the key witness briefly known only as Johnny Vegas in the case of missing teenager Jay Slater has finally been unveiled. TV detective Mark Williams Thomas, who travelled to Tenerife to assist in the search for Jay, revealed the further investigation into the case has uncovered an established criminal network linked to drugs and violent crime and theft. Jay, an apprentice bricklayer uh, from Lancaster, Lancashire attended the rave in Tenerife with two British men and spent the night at the Airbnb in the remote village before disappearing. This trip marked Jay's first time travelling abroad. So Mark must have got that information from Rocky uh, to confirm that he is Johnny Vegas or some people have said to me, was he actually covering for someone uh, who was the real Johnny Vegas? But that's what the news and obviously some people on TikTok were actually saying on that one. So a lot of people um, thought it, uh, it may have been uh, Rocky uh, being Johnny Vegas. Although I did see something on TikTok uh, a, a few days ago and it was kind of a weird sort of TikTok so I don't know whether it, it was made up of both Aeop and Rocky uh, on that but um, I, you know I just flicked past it and then someone messaged me I can't I've got so many you know thousands and thousands of messages on my channel I can't dig them all out and someone said it could be a Moroccan guy which could be Aeop and Rocky's bosses or it could be Brandon because he looks like him a bit, but Brandon doesn't fit uh, uh, basically the, you know, what Johnny Vegas does, the sweet runner, the, you know, the gangster and Aup fits that scenario of Johnny Vegas, a bit dodgy, uh, you know, a, a runner, uh, organising. Uh, a lot of things and it, it, it fits the bill so when Mark said that he is Johnny Vegas I think we've we've got to go with that even though other people have messaged me thinking that Johnny Vegas is someone else it's either him or this Moroccan guy that's my thoughts in what I've read up on read up on from other people age 31 was imprisoned nine years ago for orchestrating a sophisticated operation to flood Wales with Class A drugs. Today, his identity and criminal background were made public after it was revealed that he was the man who invited Jay Slater to his rental property in Tenerife hours before disappearing. This revelation has forced him to break his silence regarding Jay's disappearance. In an interview with a journalist, he stated, I let the geezer stay at mine because he had nowhere else to go. His friends had all left him. I know Jay, through friends. I'm not going to bring someone back to mine if I don't know them. I'm doing the geezer a favour and now my face is all over the news. It's a bit mental. I haven't even done anything. The interview took place just hours after former police officer Mark Williams Thomas publicly disclosed that Jay Slater had posted the Snapchat claiming he had taken a £12,000 Rolex from someone. So... It was Mark, obviously, who first came out in a news article, uh, which I've showed earlier on this video, that 
he must have said to him that he's uh, Johnny Vegas. Uh, so unless anyone's got some information, I would have said a good 90% that uh, Ayup uh, goes under the name maybe in Tenerife of Johnny Vegas. And I'd say 10% this Moroccan guy, uh, but the evidence is there from uh, Mark. So I, th I think there's uh, the news is saying it and uh, Mark um, as well. I know you can't always believe everything Mark says, but a, a few people have messaged me and say that they think it's uh, Ayup uh, who was Johnny. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let me know who you think Johnny Vegas was because it could be one of, of about five people. Uh, Aya, Rocky, this Moroccan guy, uh, which a lot of people don't know a lot. He must be, you know, up there, up the ladder, a kingpin. Or Brandon, which I, I don't think there is Brandon because he doesn't fit, fit the bill of a real crime lord, should I say. Thank you uh, for the old subscribers and all the new subscribers.